Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 sports games of all time. For this list, we're observing the absolute best sports games you could play. Note that we're not necessarily looking at sports sims, you know, the annualized licensed sports games, but we're primarily considering games centered around sports in general. What's your favorite sports game? Did it make it on the list? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's play ball. Number 20. The Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Series. <laughs> Back when the original game was first revealed, it was hard to believe that a game featuring both Mario and Sonic was coming out. As one can tell from the title, this series depicts Mario, Sonic, and their friends and foes competing against each other in the Olympics. A lightning quick start, back in the game, Sonic lost the lead and finished an excellent time. It's not the crossover game we wanted, but it still proves to be an enjoyable time no matter what platform you play on. Each iteration comes with its own collection of games to play, with the dream events serving as excellent, more video gamey versions of the events. Before we continue, I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Tennis Clash. Tennis Clash is the definitive tennis experience on mobile. Enjoy fast and fluid PvP matches with players from across the globe, customize your character with new outfits and RPG mechanics, and join a league to climb the ranks and become a champion. Go to the video description, click on the special links, support the channel, and you'll get 200 gems and 500 gold. As an RPG fan, I love that I can focus on which abilities to upgrade, which equipment I want to use, and the large roster of characters to choose from. And Tennis Clash features tons of activities with great rewards. Complete daily and general challenges, join a league, and compete in tournaments to level up your player. Practice mode is also great for beginners and pros alike, as it lets you refine your tennis skills and helps you prepare for challenging matches and tournaments. Tennis Clash is free to play, so you can jump in right now and start your tennis legacy. Go to the video description, click on the special links, support the channel, and you'll get 200 gems and 500 gold. Good luck, and I'll see you on the court. Number 19. Steep. Those looking for the ultimate package in snow sports may look no further. While the game's reveal generated disappointment at the end of Ubisoft's E3 2016 conference, it offered a wealth of game modes to satisfy any snow sports fan. In addition to skiing, snowboarding, and paragliding, players can also take part in sledding, base jumping, and flying with rocket-powered wingsuits. The game even received one last update in the form of the X Games Pass, adding in extreme sports. With so many modes to play as well as a solid story campaign, Steep may entice you to take a trip to some snowy mountains. Shit, 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 shit! <laughs> Number 18, 100-foot robot golf. They're all gone, most of the humans are all gone, the moon's all gone. But golf's still here, let's get it done. Yeah, this game is just as ridiculous as its title. 100-foot robot golf sees players using mechas to play golf around cities, on the moon, in volcanoes, or whatever else is lurking around in the custom courses. Unlike regular golf, you only have to worry about being the first to sink your ball. And to make things a bit trickier, every mecha has a different method of building power. They felt like destroying something industrial. The best part about this game, though, is you can be a total troll by getting in the way of your opponent's shot or smacking them around with your club. And the commentary provided by Justin Travis and Griffin McElroy makes 100-foot robot golf an absolute riot. Now, Griffin, would you say that every grain of sand represents a child's dream? I would say it actually represents a human life was lost in the 100-foot robot war. Number 17, Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup. Now, the 
Hey, if Quidditch is becoming a real sport, it deserves to be on this list. Quidditch World Cup allows players to take part in the famed sport we witnessed in the first Harry Potter movie. Two teams of three must fly around a field and try to throw the quaffle into one of three ring goals. Players will have to utilize special moves and tricks to beef up their score. In addition to its excellent multiplayer and solid roster, players can try out challenges at Hogwarts to improve their skills or compete in the World Cup. There may be a bit of a learning curve, but Quidditch World Cup becomes immensely satisfying to play once you've figured it out. Number 16, Mario Tennis Aces. There have been a plethora of Mario Tennis games, but none reach the same level of quality as Mario Tennis Aces. Not only does the game finally give Mario and company some sweet tennis attire, but it also includes a fun and entertaining campaign involving a cursed tennis racket. Players can also host or join online tournaments, some of which may be hosted by Nintendo themselves and offer prizes in the form of new outfits or characters or My Nintendo coins. After the travesty that was Ultra Smash, Aces managed to turn the ship and deliver us the Mario Tennis we've been waiting for. Number 15. Skate 3 Look, skateboarding can be hard, like really hard. Skate 3 provides a fantastic skateboarding experience with its creatively designed parks and vibrant environments. But let's be honest, you're not just here to pull off sick tricks. What reels most people into Skate 3 and the series in general is how it makes failing hilarious. Whether you've genuinely flopped or deliberately bailed from a jump, seeing your character shatter almost every bone in their body is side-splitting. And hey, if you want more of that, there's plenty of challenges in the Hall of Meat to conquer. So break a leg. Or two. Number 14. Mario Superstar Baseball Don't worry, Mario sports games aren't going to dominate this list, but Mario Superstar Baseball is not one to be overlooked. Players can now make a baseball team composed of the Mushroom Kingdom's residents, from heroes and baddies to allies and minions, and there's tons of ways to play. You can start challenge mode and build your ultimate team before taking on Bowser or compete against friends and AI in a handful of mini games. And if you needed more baseball action, you probably picked up Mario Super Sluggers on the Wii, which provided an experience just as thrilling. Number 13, Rocket League. It's pretty much one of the biggest online multiplayer games you can play right now. Rocket League pits two teams of vehicles against each other in one of the most competitive sports on Earth, soccer. Developer Psyonix tries to mix things up on occasion with rumble modes that give players power-ups or modified matches of pre-existing modes. Of course, what is arguably the game's main attraction is its deep customization, offering players a wide variety of car parts, decals, goal explosions, and more to express themselves. If you haven't, you should see some of the awesome builds people have created. Number 12, Tecmo Bowl. Ready, down. Hunt, hunt, hunt. 
Without Tech Mobile, sports sims wouldn't be where they are today. Tech Mobile was extraordinary with its near perfect replication of American football from gameplay to presentation. When it initially launched, we were ecstatic to finally get to play as our favorite football teams. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Those personal debates about who would win a game would finally be put to rest. And as if the halftime show wasn't enough, Tech Mobile was easy to pick up and play thanks to its simple controls and fast-paced gameplay. And its sequel, Tecmo Super Bowl, was just as great. Number 11, Wii Sports. Strike! While its sequel, Wii Sports Resort, added in many more modes to enjoy, there was something about the original title that still draws players in today. Was it the casual approach to the sports sim genre, or the fact that it showed potential behind motion controls and gaming? Or how about the way it encouraged players to become more active in their gaming sessions with bonus challenges, fitness tests, and pro-level rewards? Nah, you know what makes it really special? It's that brilliant bowling. Landing turkeys makes you feel like a real pro. Nice spare. Number 10, everybody's golf. Nice shot. Nice shot. This is, perhaps, the ultimate golfing video game for newbies, casuals, and veteran golf fans. Everybody's Golf puts you in a world where just about anyone and everyone loves playing golf. It provides a multitude of options to customize your character, features a wealth of unique courses and tournaments to play, and best of all, it even lets you drive the golf cart. You can also take time out of your games to freely explore the courses so you can observe the land, meet up with friends, or simply take a breather. Needless to say, this entry in the 20-year-old franchise is the golfing fantasy for fans of the sport. Number 9, NBA Street Volume 2. Chill, chill. Whereas most basketball games kept the action in stadiums, NBA Street Volume 2 took us into the neighborhood for some b-ball. The game kept the same formula as its predecessor and seemingly normal game of basketball that only intensifies when someone pulls a BS game breaker shot. A big one. What made it stand out, however, were the exceptional visuals, great sound design, and the soundtrack's tasty jams. It also helped that the game was easier to get a hold of, in terms of controls, than most other basketball games. Who would want to play outside when you had a game as cool as this? In your face. Woo! Up by dumps! I gotta close my eyes! Number 8. Ring Fit Adventure Great effort. That's it. What many health, fitness, and sports games forget is that sometimes it's okay to make things a little less real and a little more video gamey. You know? Just when we thought no one could strike the perfect balance, Nintendo came crashing in with Ring Fit Adventure. Okay, let's go. This exercise works your shoulders. Using a plastic ring and leg straps, players can jog through a fantastical world as they get fit enough to stop an exercise-obsessed dragon named Drago. You'll have to do a variety of exercises in order to beat monsters and execute attacks at their full potential. Creative in concept and execution, it's no wonder why Ring Fit Adventure sold nearly 6 million units. Number 7 MLB The Show 20. So now to the plate, Colin Moran. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. 
MLB The Show may be another one of those annualized sports sims, but Sony's San Diego studio has done a top-notch job at giving baseball fans the ultimate gaming experience. And the 2-2. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Old game modes like Franchise and Road to the Show were great to revisit, and new modes Showdown and Custom Leagues were fantastic additions. Speaking of leagues, thank you for giving us our online leagues back. It was also nice to see the hitting and fielding mechanics get some tweaks improvements too. This was certainly a game made for baseball fans. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. Number six, Super Mario Strikers. <laughs> Okay, we promise, this is the last sports game from our favorite plumber. Whereas most Mario sports games just slap Mario and his pals in some kind of sports setting, there was something about Super Mario Strikers that resonated with more people. <laughs> Judging from the intense visual effects and punky art style, it seemed like Mario was ready to show us all what makes soccer an awesome sport. This was Mario with attitude, and with its accessible design and giving us the ability to body check others, Super Mario Strikers was incredibly fun to play with friends. Here's hoping we get a new iteration soon. Number 5. WWF No Mercy There have been dozens upon dozens of wrestling games made since WWE exploded in the 80s. And yet, no matter how many more we get in the future, none have come close to being as good as WWF No Mercy. The character creation was done incredibly well compared to previous wrestling titles. The championship modes, branching paths, kept us coming back for a new set of challengers. And to wrap it up in a nice hammerlock hold, it presented an easy to learn control scheme. And it gave us all that goodness while laying us down on the mat. Number four, SSX Tricky. While SSX Tricky does focus quite a bit on racing, it provides enough features involving snowboarding in general, thus why we're excluding it from the criteria. SSX Tricky saw players sloping down mountains and valleys and performing stunts along the way. Nothing. Do a sailfish. Either beat your opponents to the bottom or set a new high score to brag to your buddies. It also gave off some cool vibes with its colorful cast of borders and sick selection of music. Besides, how could you not love a game when it greets with some run DMC? You're breaking trail for the rest of them. The crowd wants to see a new trick. Number three, NBA Jam. NBA Jam wasn't just another basketball game, it was a game that evoked the spirit and energy of the sport. It was the novelty of playing as some of your favorite basketball players at the time against, strangely enough, Bill Clinton. It was the thrill of dribbling a ball that's literally on fire and smashing it through another team's board. And lest we forget the ability to shove our friends around without any penalties. Boom shakalaka. Head fake. What a shot! Number two, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Honestly, it was hard deciding which Pro Skater game was the best, but given how the original's controls haven't aged well, we have to give it to the remake, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. One could say it's great given how consistently awful previous titles have become. Others could point to its appreciation for skater culture and awesome soundtrack. 
but the real savior of this game was the refined controls, exceptional visuals, and the return of Create a Skater and Create a Park. Regardless if you are into skateboarding or not, this is a heck of a game to play. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. And the creme de la creme, number one, Mike Tyson's punch out. It should go without saying that Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! is perhaps the most famous or infamous sports game. Depends on who you ask. It couldn't possibly be because of Iron Mike's insanely hard fight, right? Well, it wasn't just that. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! was revolutionary in video game animation as it showed a new way for enemies to telegraph attacks. It was how the game replicated that feeling of success and excitement in overcoming an obstacle as big as King Hippo. It was how those fights instilled some kind of rivalry between you and the characters. This was how Punch-Out! became the best sports game made and how it became an icon in pop culture. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.